People who belong to the LGBT community are as discriminated against, are as oppressed, are held up to as much ridicule and scorn and referred to contemptuously by some high-ranking church people. All of that exists today just as it did yesterday. But what the people who want to be in the position to do those things and degrade people count on is that the protectors and defenders of these set upon people will get tired or say it doesn't do any good to fight because the battle is not going to be won. Some things are done incrementally and that's the way this struggle is going to be carried out in thinking state officials who've spoken out against discriminatory legislation. They did such a job in rallying opposition that the governor of Georgia vetoed a bill, or he didn't sign it. Anyway, the one in North Carolina may have signed it. A lawsuit was filed. The attorney general is not going to defend it against that lawsuit. In Georgia, it may be where the governor decided not to sign it because the NFL said the Super Bowl would not be played there. Other large money drawers have said that they would avoid Georgia. The word hasn't gotten out about Nebraska yet because there is so much lack of knowledge about this state. It's thought mainly in terms of its being hickified, a flyover state. Those are words even used by people in Nebraska who said they want to change that. But a lot of people are not aware of the bigotry, the homophobia, and the other negatives about this state, which have actually been put into their laws, and in one instance, their constitution, where same-sex marriage was made unlawful by the Constitution, but the U.S. Supreme Court struck that down. So Nebraska does not have a good record when it comes to trying to violate the rights of certain classes and groups of people and assigning them to a lower than fully human status. This bill that Senator Larson has brought is something that deals with the employer-employee relationship and it lends itself to me raising the kind of issue that I have raised, that I continue to raise, and have every intention of continuing to talk about for the next two hours or so. It will not weary me. It will not discourage me. I know how deep dyed the bigotry is in this legislature. The homophobia is in this legislature. The intolerance is in this legislature but it must be countered, and it needs to be countered by somebody on the floor of this legislature, and if it falls to me to do it, I will do it. It doesn't make me any difference if it's one person or 47 or 48 others. The issues remain the same, and I intend to keep raising them, and I will keep offering amendments to this bill until we get to cloture. <coughs> Senator Larson probably has the votes he needs, but we're going to do this dance on select file also. And I think the time is going to be more limited when we get to select file than it is today because some days are going to pass and it will play into my hands and you all will have the opportunity to see if I'm going to buckle and fold or if I will go ahead and use the time that is presented to me to fight for these issues that I think are far more important than sales tax, than business, than benefits to big farmers, big ranchers, and all these other side issues that the body as a whole shows far more interest in. But maybe it's embarrassment that causes them to look the other way, but it's of no moment to me. I shall do what I shall do. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Chambers. Senator Chambers, you are recognized to make your closing. 
Thank you. Mr. President, members of the legislature, the term the letters LGBT stand for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. These are designations of people and groups of people. And some of the holier than thou, meddlesome, busybody people who don't have to get involved with anybody feel it's their bounden duty to intrude into the affairs of these people, even to the point of saying that if they are denied the opportunity to earn a living, that's perfectly all right in Nebraska. I'm surprised that so many Catholics are taking the attitude they take because I went to a Catholic university. It was a Jesuit university. I know what the JMJ stands for that students put at the top of their papers. The, I guess that's an incantation to magically make them do well on a test. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. But it meant no more there than the prayers that are uttered here. But one thing that the Catholic Church always talked about was certain basic rights that every person had. Shelter, health, an opportunity to earn a living. But we have Catholics in here who say by their votes that when it comes to the right to earn a living, certain groups are not a part of the human race, that the laws will consign them not to the kingdom of thingdom, but even lower than that. They are non persons.